treatment on the treated estimate or TOT. In some cases, you will be interested in measuring the program effect on those who receive the program. This is called the TOT. Working on the field is very different from working in a laboratory. It is actually quite common that a few individuals assigned to the treatment group finally don't get the treatment, and some individuals assigned to the control end up having access to the program. We need to avoid this type of crossover as much as possible. If it happens, we can estimate the treatment effect on the treated. In our example, the proportion or the probability of obtaining credit for a household in the treatment group is 90%, and the probability of being treated in the control group is 7%. First thing to remember, random assignment T sticks to each household from the beginning to the end of the evaluation. It never ever changes. Treatments are treatments and controls are controls. I hope no one is even thinking about dropping people out of the experimental sample. This is not possible. You will bias your sample unless you drop participants randomly. But dropping those who benefit from the control group or dropping those who did not from the treatment group invalidates your randomized control trial. It will bias your estimates. So we are keeping everyone in the experimental sample, that's for sure. The idea of the TOT is to use the assignment to treatment and control group, T, like tau, as an indicator of the probability of getting the program D, like delta. T is called an instrument. The adjustment we do uses the probability of obtaining credit in each treatment group. In the graphic, this is the probability of becoming purple. For those household heads in the treatment group, this probability is very high, it's 90%. The probability of obtaining credit for household heads in the control group should be very low. This means that the value of T is strongly correlated to the probability of obtaining credit. In this sense, T is a good instrument for D. The instrument T has been assigned randomly by construction. We used a lottery number to create it in chapter 2. Therefore, T is a good instrument. We say that T is exogenous. Intuitively, if not everyone who is in the treatment group participated, but we still observe an effect when comparing the means of the two groups, then it must be that the effect of the program is quite large, because even when diluted among those who did not benefit from credit, we can observe an impact. So the effect of credit is larger than what we estimate with the ITT. Similarly, if some individuals in the control group had access to credit, they must have raised up the average outcome of the control group. If even in that case, we observe a difference between the treatment and the control, it must be that the effect is big enough to be observed and the actual program effect is larger that what we measure with the ITT. So we want to proportionally adjust the estimated program effect. The treatment on the treated is the effect of the program on those who receive the program with respect to those who did not receive it. We say that we use the assignment variable as an instrument to predict the probability of obtaining microcredit through this program. In this data, the command is IV regress to stage least square this is the instrumental variable regression. The dependent variable is LNX dot as before. And D is the treatment variable that we want to instrument using the random assignment T. We like the regression command because it automatically tests the null hypothesis that the treatment has no effect. And also because we can adjust the standard errors using the option cluster. This will not change the estimates of the TOT but it would take into account the intra-cluster correlation, rising the standard errors and making the confidence interval larger. Clustering could potentially change your test results from rejecting to not rejecting, but it's not the case here. So the output says that we are using an estimation method called two-stage least squares, that we have 300 observations, that there are 87 clusters, the villages, and that the estimated effect of the treatment on the treated is 20%, which is larger than the intention to treat estimate, which was 16.8%. The ITT is smaller because the effect of the microcredit is sort of diluted. The output shows that the credit D is instrumented by the random assignment variable T. 